Hello, and welcome to my final Tron After Dark video blog, and um, I have quite a bit to talk about today, so I should get right to it. So, for last night's um, closing night films, began with um, Cheap Thrills, and um, this is a um, dark comedy starring uh, Pat Healy, Sarah Paxton, Ethan Embry, and David Kochner. I, have, I don't know how to pronounce the name properly. And... Pretty much the film is about a guy who, who finds himself in financial trouble, um, uh, reunites with his friend he hasn't seen in five years in a bar, and then together they find this um, couple who m place bets on them to do various um, acts, and the stakes get higher as the film progresses, and pretty much the film is all about what would you do for a lot of money, and uh, I really don't know about this film. Um, it was okay enough for the first bit, but then it kind of lost me when the acts started becoming a bit too tasteless for my liking, and yeah, uh, just you know, a lot of people actually like this film, but it did not really do it for me, and just, eh, can't really like them all at <laughs> Tron After Dark, so, however, I quite liked the, um, closing gala film, which was Big Bad Wolves. Now, this film gained a lot of attention, uh, recently, because um, Quentin Tarantino saw and declared it his favorite film of the year. Now, I'm not going to go that far, but it's definitely a well-done vigilante thriller, which is actually has quite a bit of dark comedy in it. Uh, so, um, there's a very tense scene, and then the tension is suddenly broken with a funny moment, which I thought was quite well done, and um, this is a type of film which um, it's not really for mainstream appeal, but there's a lot of um, messages underneath all the plot, and this, this film is ripe for analysis, and just, it's a very well done film. I quite enjoyed it very much. And that leads me into me announcing via this video blog my favorite films of Toronto After Dark, which I'll write in my blog later. So we'll start off with my number five film, which is Banshee Chapter, which was an absolutely terrifying film and just blew me over. And so our next number four will be a machine, which was an excellent sci-fi thriller and just blew me away. Number three will be The Battery, which was definitely one of the better zombie apocalypse films and just and also introduced me to a certain song, which I can't get out of my head. <laughs> and uh, Number two is um, Ega, which was quite a lot of fun to watch. And my number one film of Toronto the Dark was, of course, Big Bad Wolves. Now, I can't really forget the um, short films that played uh, all throughout the festival, so I will review the shorts shortly, but uh, I thought I'll give my favorites right now, so my favorite Canada After Dark short, which were the shorts that played before each of the features, was The Last Video Store, which was a great little genre film. And then my favorite of the um, shorts after dark was Rope of Dope, which was a Groundhog Day style martial arts comedy, which was very fun to watch. And uh, well, that wraps up my uh, final video blog for Toronto After Dark, and I have a 
a lot of writing to get onto, so I should do that, and uh, see ya next year.